Hey guys, welcome back to Dream Series number three. I'm very excited to bring this message to you tonight. We're gonna look at the people that you should surround yourself with as you are chasing your dream. Stay tuned. I'm the CEO, it's mega chop, mega chop, you already know. We're gonna start by taking a look at the individuals who support dreams, who help lift us up. Those are going to be hands-on supporters. Those are going to be uh, moral slash emotional supporters, cheerleaders, if you will. And there's a combination of both of those together. So we're gonna break those down into a couple different areas and make sure that you have a clear picture of who it is you need to surround you. So taking a look first, at our hands-on supporters. For any of you who are familiar with my stream and what I do as far as content creation, you will quickly recognize that Mrs. Chop and my daughters, they're hands-on supporters. They help come up with TikToks. They help come up with content, IRLs. They come up with creative ideas for clips, video game clips, uh, the whole nine yards. They help with the whole production behind the scenes, making sure lighting, green screens are good. So you want people in your life who are hands-on. If you're trying to open up a retail store or if you're trying to train to become uh, an athlete, you need people who are there who are willing to help support you in those late hours, get products stocked or uh, make sure that you get in those extra burpees that you need to do. When they're there pushing you because they can see your dream with you, they know where you're headed and they want you to get there. So these people, as much as they're hands-on, they're also moral supporters, emotional supporters, because they're there with you. They see you at your best and they see you at your worst. So if you have someone who's willing to stick it in for the long haul, when they see you at your worst, you know that you have all the support that you need to make this happen. Please don't take them for granted. Then you have the moral supporters. That may be somebody who doesn't even live close to you. Maybe you catch up with them via text message or you uh, video chat them, uh, email. Do you email? Maybe you do. Uh, I mean, maybe you catch up through social media outlets. There are so many different ways to stay connected and receive the support that you need from those that you care about. You need those just as much as you need the hands-on there's a lot that goes into chasing your dream emotionally. There's uh, self-doubt that you have to watch out for. Um, there's the motivation to continue to push yourself. Uh, those absolutely will involve somebody else helping you at some point along the line. So we don't wanna forget about those. Then we have mentors. So someone who typically is older, wiser, has more experience, who loves to help people, who loves to guide people and give you direction and wise advice. They've already been through some of the roads that you've been through. Maybe their dream and your dream is polar opposites, but they've chased their dream. They have a solid understanding of what it takes to chase a dream because that's a unique person who chases their dream. So you want to find someone like that. Uh, it could be somebody that you know, you work through connections, maybe a connection of your parents, grandparents, aunts and uncles, or it could be somebody that you don't know at all. Maybe you saw them online, you watched their YouTube video and you were like, oh my gosh, what it would mean to me to connect with them and be able to pick their brain and find out how did that work? How did this go? Please help me. Uh, so if that's something that you want to do, make sure that you're, you're thoughtful about the process. You want to be honorable of their time because everybody's busy and time is the most valuable thing. To me, that's my most valuable commodity. I will take time with family over time making money because my most valuable commodity is time. Outside of mentors, I would look to find someone who has similarities to the dream path that you're on. Maybe they're not embarking on the exact same path, or maybe they're way further on their path than you, 
it started out in a similar direction but went in a completely different way and that's okay it is awesome to have a dream regardless of where it goes and it's awesome to have a dream that you're forging a new path it's definitely uh, a scarier route to go because nobody's been down that road they don't know what it looks like you don't know what it looks like but you have some concept or idea so find someone who's in that relative path if you want to set new records in a brand new sport that you came up with find athletes who have set records in existing sports and pick their brain find out what it took for them to do it because likely that's the foundation or the base that you're going to need to do that if you are looking to own your own company in a completely different trajectory than most start out with ceos and individuals entrepreneurs individuals who have and are successfully running companies of their own because they're going to be great resources to at least understanding the foundation of where you're going to need to go from there it may take innovation and creation to continue on that path and that journey which is amazing make sure that while you're on that path and journey you don't forget that if you have a chance video diary that thing yo grab yourself a GoPro uh, whatever it takes write things down um, voice memo your things whatever it takes that way you can help be an inspiration and a guide to someone else who's looking to forge their path because i have a strong feeling if you're willing to chase your dream you are willing to pass that knowledge on to somebody else to help them achieve theirs i've got some bonus content here because we're going to touch on an area that i didn't even mention originally there is another type of person they are a supporter and they're a dream killer. They can be the most crucial on this journey and they can also be the most damaging on this journey. If you haven't figured it out yet, everybody has one of these individuals in their life. Everybody guaranteed. The person is yourself. We can be the most fired up, ready to go, ready to take on the world, chase our dreams, say, Matt, you can do it. Matt, you got this. We are going big time. We're getting that dream tomorrow. And in the next breath, we can be like, but wait, do you remember that one time that you overslept? Does that show the discipline you need to achieve this? Do you remember that one time when you missed a deadline does do you think you even have the ability to make this happen this is going to take a lot of time management matt what are you doing <sighs> okay we've all had those moments right we're melting down inside ourselves one moment we're like yes i'm on top of the world the next we're like how am i ever gonna do this and that's okay we all get that way we just have to work on our self-awareness. Just like we work on the awareness to acknowledge and make sure we have the right people in our lives to make sure we start distancing and recognizing people that we need to create a barrier. We need to recognize our own self-awareness. When am I starting down the path that I need to avoid? Because that's taking me where? Away from my dream. What? got me on the right path to chase my dream okay i should do that again what are some other things that help put me on that path maybe it's taking some time to yourself when you get done with work you drive home and you take five ten minutes sitting in your vehicle to decompress to think about your dream whatever that is maybe it's reading a book maybe it's playing video games maybe it's a jog around the block i don't know there's so many things Whatever it is that recharges you and refills you up, make sure that you're taking that time. You have no ability to pour into anybody else. If you're empty, think of yourself like a glass. And the more you do throughout the day, the more you're pouring into those things. You poured into the project at work. You poured into your coworker who was struggling. You poured into your manager who needed some feedback. You 
poured into your relative that texted you and they were having a hard day. You poured into uh, making sure that your kids' lunch accounts were filled up. Man, there is not much water left in that glass anymore. How are you gonna continue to pour out for the rest of the night? You're almost empty, it's 5 p.m. You gotta go till 9 p.m. Maybe you're chasing your dream. You gotta go till midnight. Holy crap, you got a lot of time. We need to fill that back up. Take that picture and fill it back up. Take that time that you need to refill, to recharge in little spurts throughout the day, whatever that looks like, to make sure you can keep going in a healthy manner. So uh, ultimately, we need people on our journey. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Chasing our dreams is not a solo journey. We are not a creature who's intended to be by ourselves or to do things solo as much as we feel like it, especially entrepreneurs, especially people who like to grind. We are not meant to do it alone. So we need to make sure that we bring those people in and around us. I hope this video was incredibly helpful for you. Make sure you click like, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications because next week, we are going to be going into the fourth edition of the dream series, taking action. We can't make our dream happen if we don't start taking some kind of action. So make sure that you don't miss it. I look forward to seeing you guys next time.